To another video. Today I am in London, Stansted Airport. I'm going to Denmark, Arrowhurst. Today I am not joined alone. Really? I'm joined by my friend, Beth. Who's eating burger? Who's eating a Burger King burger? And I've got garlic bread from Weatherspoons. It's basically how we planned this trip. It went on Skyscanner and we just clicked the cheapest flight to and from the airport and then we just picked the cheapest hostel hotel and our tram is here to come to the gate Beth's just gone I'm 16, she's 26 so so, I'm on the plane Beth's somewhere at the back but I've got no one here and no one here. I have a whole row to myself. Couldn't get any better. The flight's meant to be an hour and 25 minutes. We're about to take off soon. So I'm gonna get some nice snapshots out the window. Make sure you add my socials and subscribe. Yeah, I'm really excited. Denmark, here we come. Just like that, we have all landed. I forgot my tripod. I'm in Denmark. It's snowing! <laughs> we have just reunited! Ah! Oh, and it's snowing! We'll go through passport control and then we can figure out what we're going to do. Got my scale. So we just come off the bus. Beth's on the Google Maps. How long is left, Beth? 14 minutes. It's it's really chilly. I can't lie. So how far are we now, Beth? 350 meters. Which is just down this road, hopefully. Five minutes. Oh, green man, let's go. So I've got hot hair. Can we just ignore the fact that I look like rubbish right now? So guys, it's now eight, half eight, and about that. Um, we've just literally been chilling in bed watching TikTok because we're just knackered. We're just knackered. Beth's lost her charger. Shut up. But I'm just gonna go on TripAdvisor now and have a look at things to do because we haven't like actually planned it. Oh, it's there. She found it. Found it, was on, it. it was on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what to do. We both have this con. <coughs> Perks of our job. Perks of our job. Being ill. All the time. All the time. Like, 24-7. I don't even want to do a plan. Well, I would do a plan. Beth, are you going to help me plan? Beth's going to go to bed. Beth's going to go to bed. Bye. <laughs> See you in the morning. Ow. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm half asleep. Beth's just <laughs> turned the light on. I look like an absolute bomb has hit me. There she is. <laughs> oh. Just making our way to breakfast. Look at this. Stop. So for breakfast, what have you got there? Some sort of cornflakes. Sort of so last night I went on TripAdvisor. Beth had a nice little sleep. <laughs> um, and I found out most of the... Of the Things to do are in the center of the city, which is only a 20 minute walk away, which is marvelous. So, we've just discovered this little part we're gonna walk through. Okay, well, it's a graveyard. She's embarrassing. It's a graveyard, not a park. Beth, what are your first thoughts of Denmark so far? It's alright to be fair. Alright to be fair. I thought this thing was very clean. It says water, leave us in bottles. 
It's because there's a lot of bins everywhere. Yeah, there's loads of bins. They do recycling. And they also trust each other. They leave their bikes unlocked. We've only seen like three bikes locked out of like, what? 30? 30? Like, we don't have that much trust in England, do we? <laughs> we have spotted a McDonald's. We've also realized that nothing opens on a Saturday until 10 o'clock. And it's half nine now, so we're just doing a bit of wandering around. But we found a McDonald's, so we might get like a coffee or something. They do macaroons here. Stop. Beth, what's just happened? We're off to a great start. <laughs> so, we've just come out the shop. What's it called? Normal. Normal. <laughs> we put some... Oh my God. A few moments later. Like More moments later. And if any of you know me, you know how obsessed with I am with Red Bull. There's the winter edition. I think it's cherry. Look what we found, nice little river. I'm going to make a challenge for myself. I'm going to uh, have the traditional Danish dish and the traditional Danish drink. This is the Arahus Cathedral with a length of 93 metres. Arahus Cathedral is the longest church in Denmark and it seats approximately 1,200 people. So we've just been to this jewellery stand and this guy was selling like he made them these like rings, his, host, his, his, his historical rings, and I got one. And this nice man, oh, God, what was his name? Rick. Rick, this nice man called Rick, who was selling them, told us the best place to go to find the traditional food is this street food place, which is left at this train station. So hopefully we can uh, find it. We have found it. Oh, there it is, street food. See what we have. This is uh, yes. I found it. Traditional Danish food. Let's go. Uh, now the lady was telling us about this and about the meatballs. Mm. So we're in the street food market, and I'll show you what we've got. I've got a tartaletta and it's the meatballs with curry sauce and rice. I've forgotten what it's called. And then we also got the traditional drink. So uh, Beth got what? Some nachos. It's called a chocolate bowl. Then we've got a ntabrog, which is the traditional Denmark, I mean, the traditional Danish drink. And here's the tartaletta, which is chicken with sauce in a tart. And then here's my meatballs with curry sauce and rice. Let's try. Try the chicken. Tartaleta. And the verdict is not bad. This is the Viking Museum where they reconstructed pit houses that they used to live in back in the days. Then we have a skeleton of a man who dates back to the 9th century. He is believed to be 170 centimetres high. So we've just come out of the Viking Museum. We've arrived now in the Latin Quarter. How pretty it is. Pretty. So we just got back to our room. We've done 17,000 steps today already. And it's only like four o'clock. And we are gonna have a little nap. I'm gonna edit. And we're gonna head out for like six. I've just had a shower as well. Much needed shower because my hair looked bad as anything. 
So it's now 6 p.m. Um, I've done some editing. So we're gonna get changed and head out for some dinner. Ooh. We'll catch you in a bit. We've just left our accommodation. It is freezing. It's like one zero degree right now. And we are freezing. Well, I'm freezing and I'm in gloves. We're just going to... So I'm just trying to send some messages. We're just going to find the first place that we see and just go in there because it's cold. Yeah. So the very first restaurant we saw was a pizza restaurant. Ah. Uh, food is here. What have you got? Pepperoni pizza with chili on top. With chili on top and a what? Coke. Coke. And I got a margarita. Mmm, with apple juice and some chips. I'm feeling the chips. Scran. Okay, scran is being done. I'm taking mine back with me because too good. It's too good. So we've just left and paid. Oh, my pizza's all boxed up. I'm so full. We're uh, heading back to. I got no pizza. Heading back to our accommodation now. We're gonna go in it. <coughs> Find something. Yeah, then we're gonna go back and uh, edit and sleep. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Well, nearly afternoon. We had a nice sleep in. Well, someone had a nice sleep in. Hey! It's half 11. Half 11, and we haven't even left. We haven't even had breakfast yet. We're gonna go to the beach today, then we're gonna get the bus into the city again. And we are out, 12 o'clock. Woohoo, and we're out, finally. We're going through this nice little wooded area to get to the beach. We have decided to make a quick stop at Mackey's for breakfast, lunch, brunch, all of that sort. Spotted McDonald's. We copped Mackey's, we got a hot chocolate with chips and a double cheeseburger. Woo! Scran! So we've just had our scran. Now we're heading back to the beach. And we're at the beach! Woo! So over there's the other side of Denmark. Over there is the city where we have come from. And over there's our accommodation, so like we walked over there yesterday. So we walked over here. How many steps have we done so far? 7,917. 7,917 steps so far. Woohoo! So in two hours, you've done 7,000 steps. We're heading in the North Sea. I think it's that. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, it's freezing. It's freezing. Oh my god, it's freezing. What? So the plan is we're going to head back now, um, warm up, just reset ourselves, then we're going to head back out later. Beth's just seen how many steps we've done. How many done so Ten, far? 10,824. We've already done our 10,000 steps. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, it's cold. And it's only half, what time is it? Five. It's only 2.45 and we've only been out for two hours and 45 minutes. We've, only, we've already done 10,000 steps. <laughs> Look how pretty these woods are. Look at it. So we are back in our accommodation. We got back at like three times. So we did that walk in like half an hour, which was really good. Hi, welcome to this day. You ready? Oh my god. So it is six o'clock. We're gonna head for a walk now after a walk to dinner not just a walk yeah walk to dinner we don't really what we want we're just gonna have a little wander because we're not really hungry we're just kind of like peckish you know so we have decided that we're just gonna go to a shop and grab a sandwich because we're not really feeling hungry enough to have like a whole meal in we go our favorite shop goodies oh bananas We've just got our things in this bag. We spent like 20 quid together. Together. Uh, yeah, we're gonna head back now and scrub it up, pajamas, and just get ready for 
We've got a pack as well, don't forget. It's eight o'clock for breakfast tomorrow. Early. And uh, no, like, we've got to be at breakfast for eight. Oh, yeah. And uh, then we have to leave the room by 10 o'clock. We'll leave it before, but that's the plan. And so I've got to research what bus we have to take back in time for the airport. The fact that we've walked this route so many times now that we don't need the Google Maps, it's just amazing, isn't it? So we're back in the room in our pajamas. And we're going to do an unboxing for you. I got some blueberries, two bananas, two apples, a chicken pesto wrap, some orange and apple juice, water, two beer, pink lemonade, an innocent smoothie, sandwich and some fruit, a cake. We're going to scrum! Okay, everyone, it is. It's half ten. Is it half ten? Right. So. Wow, it's half ten. And we're doing, we've done a bit of packing. Well, Bess and a bit of packing. Um, and <laughs> she's lost her credit card. Not funny. Actually annoyed. So that's, that's good, isn't it? And yeah, we're probably going to have an, we should probably have an early night. Yeah, I have to have short ones. Okay, it's 11.40 at night and we're still not in bed. Morning. Good morning, everybody. It's eight o'clock. We over I overslept. We overslept. I overslept. We? I overslept. She just, did this time. I'm just packing my bag now. So we've just asked reception what bus to take. And it's actually, it's relatively straightforward. It's just the same bus that we took, just from a different location. Now, many of you might be wondering what am I packing my clothes into? Well, these are dry bags. These are great for organizing your clothes into tops, bottoms, underwear. And these also compress really nicely to be able to fit into your bag, which I got from Mountain Warehouse sale for 50 pounds. So I think the sale is still on if you want to go and grab yourself one. Great sturdy bag and great for these sort of flights and little trips. And just like that, we are leaving. It's nine o'clock. We're gonna head into the centre of the city because that's where we have to get the bus from anyway. The bus we have to get is at two o'clock, so we get to the airport at three. Well. Flights at five o'clock. Suddenly it's got really light in the space of two minutes. So just in a quick pit stop at McDonald's to have some breakfast. I'm not ready to leave. I'm not ready to leave at all. I love it here. So the spire is shut. So the spire is shut, so we can't go and up it, unfortunately. So we're just heading to the port, which is, we believe, like two minute walk away. And we have arrived at the port. Actually, very pretty view, I actually. Okie dokie. I've got the blue edition Red Bull, and I think it's blueberry i think it is i'm gonna i'm gonna go try it cheers oh, it's good though so we are making our way back to the street food place because we love it so much and it's just like the food there and the drink there my hat's been turning around slowly found it so we've just left the street food place and we've been spending like an hour playing dingbats. We have made it to the bus. Which means we're heading home. Hi. I have just um, realized that I've got to drink my other Red Bull because I won't be able to bring it through security. So we're gonna do a taste test. Kiwi, I think. Not my favorite, the blue edition is though. And we are off the bus, walking to the airport now. And 
just like that, our trip has come to an end. Very sad. It is very sad. But it has been an adventure. One that I will not forget. Thank you, Denmark, for having us. It's been lovely. Give me a challenge. I think obviously travel related. But yeah, challenge will be good. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll uh, see you next time. Thank you.